Alright, Shalom Akin. You know, before I open up, I want to start off give, giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakat Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone that rule well. A salutation to the fellow laborers that's out there pushing his word day in and day out in the ministry of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity. Um, once again, come at you with another um, lesson and this message go to you Israelites, which consider the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, and those who bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, Native American descent amongst the heathens, man. But this is a bloodline thing, man. It's not just about the uh, color, man, you know, or, or your physical appearance, man. It's spiritual, man, you know. So if you're bloodline, go back to Negro, Latino, Native American, and Native American descent, you are a Hebrew Israelites, man. And Yahweh, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Christ, is only dealing with Israel. But right now, at the moment, the elect, the 144,000 and the one third, that's going to repent, come out the ways of this world, come out the ways of these false doctrines, you know, leaving off from these false gods, these idols, and return and seek the true power, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. So this was the lesson I'm gonna uh, go into today, you know, which is this word, meaning the Holy Scriptures, that's for you Israelites, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's a stumbling block to two thirds of you wicked Israelites, man. That's why you got majority of our people that want to follow these false doctrines, man, these religions, man. You know, some like you know Christianity, Roman Catholicism, Egyptology, you know, Islam, you know. Do as thou will, Baphomet, Satanism, you know, all of this wickedness, man. You know, the majority of our people, you know, are, are tied in to worshiping Satan, man. You know, and, and when it comes to the word, by the way of the prophets, you know, the men of the Lord out there pushing his word, and we telling them that the Lord is only dealing with Israel, repent and come back before that great day of destruction that Yahweh and Yahweh shot. Is, uh, is prophesying through the scriptures about when the destruction of America come by the way of thermonuclear fire, you know, right before that you're going to have martial law, you know, this economy crash, you know, the pushing of the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, and those that take the chip, the mark of the beast, are going to be destroyed by those thermonuclear missiles and by the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, famine, pestilence, you know, all type of judgment that's about to take place, man. But when we warn them and tell them about, you know, the, the things that's in the scriptures, it become a stumbling block to the ones of our people that's not chosen, you know, to be part of the elect, and the ones of our people that don't have the understanding or wasn't given the understanding through the Spirit of the Lord uh, for the scriptures, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy, and like I said, man, that's what the men of the Lord is supposed to be doing, man. And that's what you want to get here at Great Millstone, man. But that's all we go into, man. Majority of prophecy, man. And we push Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And the scripture says that Yahweh Shah, spirit, is the spirit of prophecy, man. So that will be out there giving a warning to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, man. Telling you that the Lord is about to bring judgment on this place. He's only going to deliver a remnant, which is the elect. If not, you're not part of that elect. You're going to be destroyed, man, in the up and coming judgment. And it says, um, which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. Because Yahweh Shemal Shah is the Lord's spirit that's on his men, the true prophets, to bring forth this word, man. Not of our own mind, of our own understanding, but what's in the scriptures. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through the Spirit gave us the inspiration to go out here and proclaim the prophecies that's taking place. And it reads on, Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the equality of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Kind. And that's going to the men that's in this faith, man, that's doing the work, that putting up the videos, that's going out there on the highways and byways, you know, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, putting forth the effort to push and claim the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, we're not supposed to fear their imagination or the equality 
the meaning, the word equality, going into the word of um, non-belief, man. You know, of our people that don't want to come back and search Yahweh Shemuel Shah. They don't want to cling on to their inheritance, you know, and come back to the law, statute, and commandments that the Lord gave unto us, man. You know, you're not supposed to be concerned with these non-believers, man. Because you got to come to the realization that the Lord is only dealing with a few men of Israel, and that's the elect, you know, the 144,000, which consider the men, women, and children that's going to be saved, man. Not the two-thirds that's going to hear this word and reject it and stay into their folly, man. Stay into the lies that they've been taught of these false doctrines and these false gods and these idols that they worship, man. The Tion, and it says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Council, the ones of our people, which, is, which again, that number, the two-thirds of, of you wicked Israelites are going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. For not believing in Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know? But not believing in the doctrine, your inheritance, you know. And, and you're going to be destroyed, man. And it says, Behold, say the Lord, I will bring death. I mean, Salaki, behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For the wickedness have essentially polluted the whole earth, and their hateful works are fulfilled. So that's why the Lord, Yahweh, is going to bring judgment to this place, man. All the wickedness that's taking place here in America and throughout the earth, man. You know, you got homosexuality rampant at an all-time high, you know, pedophilia bestiality, you know, these gods, these false gods, you know, being reverence, you know, which they have no power, you know, these idols being exalted, and, and the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah, is against this place, and the elect, the ones that the Lord woke up and gave us understanding to, they're going to be against this place, man, that's why you're seeing us out there pushing His word, man, you know, standing up against the evildoers, man, proclaiming the words of Yahweh Bashim Shah. And judging this place through the spirit, man. Um, that's it on that. You know, but two thirds of our people, man, they're not going to believe, man. And, and these and these scriptures are a stumbling block to them, man. Even to the ones of our people that claim they have a a, a, a a knowledge about these about the scriptures, but when we tell them certain things, that once they want to learn, mainly from these Christianity churches, the Christianity doctrine. They get offended, man. You know, when we tell them that the Most High is a so-called black man and his son is a so-called black man, that the Lord is only dealing with Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and we are the true Israelites, not those false Jews over there, those imposters, which go back to the nation of Edom or Amalek, which are the so-called white people today, you know. And, and they get offended at that, man. They get offended when we tell them that America will be destroyed, you know, the Lord is going to destroy this place for all the wickedness that it polluted the earth with. You know, and they don't they don't take heed of that, man. You know, and we got a couple of people, you know, we done had a couple of people come out there to the camps. You know, they, they hear the word and they agreed on certain things. But when certain other uh, aspects of the scriptures come out, they get offended, man. You know, the name of the Lord, you know, uh, 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 like I said, who the Lord is only dealing with. You know, the destruction of America is so far on that they're not taking heed to the true understanding of the scripture, which is going to lead them being destroyed. This is Hosea chapter, um, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, huh? You know, meaning that you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. What knowledge? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. Which is your inheritance, you know? You know, you destroy for the lack of knowledge, not knowing that you're the Lord chosen people. Not knowing that the Lord, Yahweh, and, and Yahweh Shah exists, and that's their true name, you know? Not knowing that the Lord got a kingdom for, about to be prepared for us, that we're going to rule in righteousness, man, you know? A lot of people feel like they're going to stay here in America forever, man. You know, the wicked ones of our people, man, the non-believers of, of you Israelites, man. You know, so this word is becoming a stumbling block unto you when we tell you that the Lord is going to set up a kingdom for us, man. And, and after the destruction of America and these heathen nations, starting off with the so-called white man, it's going to go into captivity, man. That's a stumbling block unto them once we bring these uh, 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 scriptures out, man, and tell them the true meaning of them, man. 
And it says, because thou hast reject knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So since our people, the wicked ones of you Israelites, you Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, don't want to give reverence to the true power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the Lord is going to reject you in the times of Jacob's trouble, man, when all hell breaks loose, man. You're not going to have that covering as the elect, man, because the elect is going to uh, 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 stand firm and hold her, hold on to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man, you know, and endure to the end. While the majority of our people, man, they're going to reject the word, and they're going to be destroyed, man. They're going to get caught up into the times of Jacob's trouble when all hell break loose. And when the Edomites, this so-called white man, come down with that great wrath, man. You know, they don't want to come back and keep the law, statutes, commandments. Some of, some of our people say the law is done away with. You know, the Lord doesn't exist. All type of madness, man. And here, the scripture is supposed to be for them. But they reject it, man. They reject it. So the Lord reject them. You know? And Yahweh Bashim Yahushua controls everything, man. So since our people rejected him, he reject them for not getting his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And, and left them off into being deceived by the wickedness of this world, man. Because the Lord is only caring for the elect, man, as is written, man. And the scriptures prove that the Lord controls both sides, man. It's up to you how about Shem Yahweh Shah if, if you're going to be part of his elect or not, man. That while us brothers that have the truth, man, we pray to the Lord that we'll do it to the end. And he take not his Holy Spirit from us, man. But we see the situation of the wicked ones of our people that's lost in this world, man. We see how bugged out they are, man. We see how uh, uh, um, um, gone they are according to this world, man. That they, they, that they have no understanding, man. And them not having understanding is going to lead to them being destroyed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim uh, Yahusha. Um, by his destruction, man. By his wrath that he's about to bring. So this is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. And it reads, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I call, none did answer. And when I speak, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Huh? So since our people don't want to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, they don't want to repent and come back to their true inheritance don't, and don't want to serve the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the Lord is going to leave them in that state of delusion, man, thinking that everything is good, man. You know, having their faith and their hope in this wicked kingdom, which is about to be destroyed, man, you know. And so when all hell break loose, the Lord is going to reject them, man. You know, and the Lord gave the word, man. He gave the word by the ways of the prophets, man. And since they reject the law, statute, and commandments, reject the, the message of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua by the ways of the prophets, they're going to be destroyed, man. And the Lord said he's not going to hear them in that time. You know? So the Lord controls everything, man. That's that why you got to fear the Lord, man. And fearing the Lord is the beginning of this knowledge, man. Beginning of, 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 of knowing who you are, man. You know, knowing what times that we're living in. That's why the majority of our people are going to be destroyed, man. Because they don't fear you, how about Shem Yahushua. They think the Lord doesn't exist. Or they think he's a so-called white man. You know, they, they think that he has the characteristics of what this world has taught, man. Through the, through the false doctrine pushed by the Edomites, man. Known as Christianity. Uh, this is the book of Job Chapter 12 Verse 16 And it reads With him is strength and wisdom And the deceived and the deceivers Are his So the Lord Yahweh Has set up Satan The spiritual demon Satan on the left hand side That controls Esau Edom These so called white people The devil When you look into that word devil it means the deceiver, you know, because they're the one that deceived the whole world by portraying the image of the Lord being white, pushing the false doctrine when it comes to the scriptures of, of, of saying that the Lord cared for everybody. He loved and died for all people, you know, that the Most High accept all nations. But that's contrary to the scriptures, man, you know, saying that the law is done away with, 
you know. So the Lord has set up the deceiver to deceive the ones of our people that's not right, man. You know, so the Lord can be justified destroying them, man. And this is the most high movie, man. The only thing we can do is play our role and pray to the Lord that our lot is amongst the, uh, uh, the elect, you know. Because like I say, man, throughout the scriptures, man, it reads and speak of the majority of our people is not going to make it through the times of the Lord's judgment, man. Only the elect. You know, we got to keep pushing that, man. Because the whole concept of, of this world, when it comes to the scriptures, they still thinking that the Lord is going to save everybody, man. Anybody that call upon the name of Jesus and God, they're going to be saved, man. You know? But that's not other scriptures, man. You know? But first of all, the name of the Lord is not Jesus or Christ or God, man. You know, once again, the name of the Lord is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. In the Paleo Hebrew, it is only for the Israelites, man. Those that are Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, and especially those, the ones that's praying in that name to be part of their elect, man. That's doing the will of the Lord and have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures through the Spirit. So the Lord set up, you know, two thirds of the people be destroyed for their wickedness, man. Um, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 69, verse 22. And it read, Let thy table be a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. And that's talking about the scriptures, man. You know, the scripture is supposed to be for the welfare of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, the righteous uh, understanding of how you're supposed to uh, guide your life through the law, statute, commandments, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah in this wicked and evil world, man. You know? But since our people don't want to get right with the Lord, you know, and since the Lord reject them, you know, and, 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 and let them be in the spirit of air, be in the spirit of wickedness, of course, you know, on, on this side, man, you know, and, you know, the Lord rejected them, man, and this, and this truth has become a stumbling block unto them, man, the scriptures, man, that's why they don't have the understanding, man, and uh, continue on, and it said, let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. Huh? So meaning that let their eyes be darkened that they have no understanding, the true understanding when it comes to the scriptures, man. You know, so the scripture says that the, our people, Israel, had a zeal but not according to knowledge, man. You know, you know, to a certain extent, you got majority of our people know that there's a higher power, but they don't have the, the correct spirit or the correct guidance, or the correct understanding when it comes to the true knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, you know, and all because of that, majority because they pride for as hell, man, you know, they don't like to take rebuke or correction or be taught the right way through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah when it comes to the scriptures, man, you know, they reject the words of the Lord because they figure that, you know, they don't have to listen to men, they got their own personal relationship with the Most High, but they don't have the understanding of the scriptures with them from uh, of the Most High and His Son and, and who they are, man. And it says, Pour out thou indignation upon them and let thy wrath angrily take hold of them. And that's talking about the destruction, man. And, and, and that's how we feel, man. Since the majority of our people, you wicked Israelites, don't want to get down with the program of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's going to be a curse upon them, man. You know? And, and, and it's going to. Uh, lead to your downfall, man. And that's what we pushing, man. We pushing for the downfall of you wicked Israelites, man. You know, because you're rejecting your own power and your own inheritance and, and not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and want to follow the way of the customs of the heathens and the, and, and the way of the trends of this wicked world that's set up by these heathens, starting off with Esau, Edom, these so-called white people, that you're going to go down, man. You know, because we want to get out of here, man. The true men of the Lord and the true believers, man. And we know what the Lord got prepared for us, man. Righteousness, a kingdom, everlasting life, man. You know, salvation, rest, you know, from, from this captivity. But majority of our people, man, the wicked ones of our people, they don't want to uh, look for the kingdom, man. They want to trust in oppression, you know. They want to trust in the same system that got them corrupt, man. And, and, and hold on to the ways of America, man. So the Lord is going to have to 
the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, will have to move him out of the way by the way of death and destruction and only save the ones that um, truly believe in him, man, the elect, that he gave the understanding to. Um, let's sit on that. <clears throat> We in the time, man, of great judgment and wrath taking place, man. If there's no excuse for you people not saying that you didn't hear the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know? And this is Romans chapter 11, <clears throat> verse 7. And it reads, What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for? Conquer Israel is searching for some type of truth, man. You know, and the elect is going to find the truth, man. But two-thirds of our people, you know, they search for the truth into these false gods, man. These idols, man. These false doctrines, the ways of religion and the ways of the wickedness of this world, man. You know, but this is what the scripture says. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest was blinded. So the elect is going to get the understanding of the scriptures, man, you know, and, and the two-thirds, they're going to be blinded, man, they're going to be blind from the fact that the true Lord is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, that the kingdom is prepared for us, man, you know, even amongst the ones that know that they're Israelites, man, but still, you know, the stumbling block is to a word, a stum this word is the stumbling block to them, you know, because you got certain, these, certain of these Israelite camps that saying that you don't have to know the name of the Lord, you know, or saying that the name of the Lord is Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshia, you know, Ahia, all these false names that's not, wasn't given to us through the Spirit, man, you know, saying that the, that the, the heathen nations are grafted in to our promise and they're going to make it into the kingdom, that's not so, man, that's contrary to the doctrine, man, you know, only Israel is going to uh, inhabit the kingdom of the Most High and His Son, you know, saying that the color of the Lord doesn't matter, you know, you know, and, and you know, other things, you know, uh, that these false Israelite camps push, man, you know, saying that uh, the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip, what these elites are going to push when this economy crashes, man, this world economy crash, that's going to be the next currency, you know, all type of damnable heresies and wicked doctrines that they bring it in, and mixing it in with the truth, man. But they claim that they're men of the Lord, but they don't have the 100% truth. They don't have the correct understanding, man. And the word is a stumbling block even amongst them, man. You know, not just the ones of our people that's completely out of the spirit of the Lord doesn't know about the Israelites. Even amongst the ones that call themselves Israelites, man. Amongst these false prophets and these false uh, uh, camps, man. And it reads on, and it says, Romans chapter 11, verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High had given them the spirit of slumber. So the Most High, the ones that set up this delusion and deceived them, man. And that's how the Lord rolled, man. You know, you know that, that's, the power, that's the type of power to fear, man. You know, because everything that the Lord does is of His will, man. Not a, a free will of men, thinking that you control your own destiny, man. The Most High set up who He want, you know, who He chose. You know, who's part of the elect and who's not part of the elect, man. That's why it's a fearful thing, man. And, and, and to and have this understanding to give reverence to you, how about you, Yahweh Shah, and pray that our lot is amongst the elect, man. You know, for the Lord, this is your how about you, Yahweh Shah program, man. Um, and that's another stumbling block that majority of our people don't know about, man. They don't know that the Lord controls everything, man. The deceiver, the deceived, you know, and the ones that's going to wake up to the truth, man. You know, in the true understanding. Continue on, and it says, Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David said, Let their let thy table be made a snare, a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down their back away. So the Lord, you know, uh, uh, has made this word a stumbling block to two-thirds of our people, man. Like I say, even the ones that's in these Christianity churches, 
They claim they know the scriptures and the ones of our people that know that they're Israelites but still will have the true understanding of the doctrine, man. You know, it, it, it goes off in the doctrine, man. Still preaching on uh, uh, wickedness, man. You know, or lies that's not concerning the, the scriptures, man. And like I say, man, there's no excuse. For the Lord have his true men out here preaching the word, man. The Lord gave the truth to the elect. So the elect is going to be preaching the whole truth, man. You know? And if the ones of our people can't receive it, it's not for them, man. You know, we're looking for the ears of our people or the elect that's going to understand, man. And that's who the Lord only concerned about right now. That's why it's such a, um, a honor and a pleasant thing and a blessing to have this truth. You know, like brothers like myself and brothers out there that's holding on to the faith and give it being diligent, you know, and make their call in the election sure, man. Because we know what the Lord got prepared for us, man, doing, for doing this work, man, the reward, man, you know, and that's everlasting life and rulership, you know, power. That's what the Lord is going to give to the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect, you know. And we don't have many examples amongst Israel, especially here amongst Great Millstone, even amongst the camp I've been in, you know, well, uh, the camp I'm in, you know, GMS Charlotte, you know, but we had a split. You know, the, you know, the split with the GMS, now with GMS South Carolina, you know, due to, you know, pushing his word out more. And not, not because, you no know, type of bad blood. You know, it was because, you know, it was through the spirit that we should, you know, prophesy here in South Carolina, man. You know, to wake up more brothers, man. But that was majority of us from the Charlotte camp are from, man. We from South Carolina, man. You know, so we in South Carolina to push this truth even more. You know, and, and, and then... All of us, man, we're looking forward to be part of the elect, man. Um, this is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 15. I'll start off at 14. And he shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone, a stumbling, and a rock. And for a rock of offense to both the house of Israel, for gin, for a gin, and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So the Lord is going to build up the sanctuary, and it's starting off with the elect, man. But this word, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, and Yahweh Shah, you know, the true characteristics of Yahweh Shah is going to be a stumbling block to the two thirds of the of the ones of our people, man. Or you Israelites, man, you know, because what you was taught by the ways of this world, man, thinking that the Lord is white, thinking that he came and died for the whole world, that anybody that believed in him is going to make it, you know. So when we're telling the true facts, the true characteristics, and the true sacrifice that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, did only for the nation of Israel, they get offended for that, man. They, they get offensive at that, man. You know, and the majority of our people, man, they, they're offended in Yahweh Shah, just like back then. When Yahweh Shah was on the scene 2,000 years ago, you know, he was out there saying that he was the anointed, the Messiah. Those that believe in him amongst Israel is going to be saved, man. You know, he was the one that given, was going to be the one that uh, set up to give repentance to Israel. Well, you had back then, man. You had majority of the wicked Israelites back then that rejected the Lord, man. They didn't believe that he was the anointed. They didn't believe that the Most High, Yahweh, sent him down to be over us, man. You know, so what's going to happen, man? They're going to die, man. Just like back then, not as on uh, now. You know, the same time now, man. Because, you know, if, you know, you can receive it. Reincarnation is in the Bible. And the ones of our people that rejected Yahweh Shah 2,000 years ago, they're here today. That's about to uh, receive their judgment for rejecting him now. And the elect that believed in Yahweh Shah back then, 2,000 years ago, they're here today doing the work of the Lord and have the same faith and looking for the deliverance that we waited for back then, that we about to receive now. Um, continue on, and it said, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter eight verse fifteen, and among them, among them shall stumble and fall, and be broken and be snared and be taken. And that's talking about the wicked ones of our people, the non-believers, man. You know, or you Israelites that's rejecting your own inheritance, man. 
Because this is not a religion. When we're saying that we're Israel, man, even though they try to make it as a religion, man, this is an inheritance, man. You know, this is historical fact, man. You know, that we are the Lord's chosen people, man. You know, but they denying that, man. You know, and rather choose the ways of the wickedness of this world, man. You know, so this word is becoming a snare, a trap, you know, upon two thirds of our people for not getting the understanding, man. This word is not uh, getting the, uh, giving them the understanding, you know. And ultimately, it's Yahweh Shah that's blocking their understanding from not getting this word, man. Continue on, and it said, Bend up the testimony and seal the law among my disciples. And the Lord is only sending the law, meaning the scriptures, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures amongst his disciples, man, amongst the elect, you know. Because the word disciple just means a, 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 a student, man, you know, a follower of, of the teacher, man, you know. And who's the true teacher, man? Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you know. And the Lord has set up men also to be teachers, man, you know, to teach other men to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through the Spirit. And that's what the elect is going to be. They're going to be on one accord through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But the Lord is only dealing with the elect at the moment, man. Two thirds of our people are going to die. You know, I can't say that enough throughout this script, um, this video, man. It's all throughout the scriptures, man. I'm gonna get this last scripture. You know, but his word is only given to the elect at the moment, man. You know, but two thirds of our people that die on this side, it is gonna be hope for them. You know, because the Lord said that all Israel shall be saved, and the meaning by that, how all Israel is gonna be saved. Because two-thirds of our people, they are Israelites. And even though they rejected on this side, but when it comes to the kingdom, you know, the ones of our people that catch the wrath of the Lord on this side, and all hell breakers, you know, they're going to come back into the kingdom, being the offspring uh, of, the, of, the, of the elect, man, being the elect children, man, the, the, the sons and daughters of the elect. And that's how they're going to inherit the kingdom, inherit the law, statutes, commandments. Because when the covenant is set, the new covenant is going to be that the law, statute, commandments that the Lord gave to Israel is going to be in our inward parts, man. You know, and that's how we're going to be righteous forever. Instead of them being on the, uh, in the, just in the scriptures, you know, on scrolls, on on the on stones that Moses received, they're going to be in our inward part, man. They're going to be in our spirit, man. We're going to be righteous forever, man. And so when the two-thirds come back through reincarnation once again, then the offspring of the elect, the ones of the 144,000, and the one-third, they're going to be delivered in the time when all hell break loose, you know. They're going to uh, uh, be righteous, man. But they're going to, because they're from that same bloodline. They just have to start over in the kingdom, man. But the elect, brothers like myself, you know, and other brothers, we're looking for to be part of that foundation of, of the kingdom, man. You know. Because the elect, the most high is going to exalt the elect for doing his work, man. And, and, and having faith and, and pushing and claiming and giving reverence to the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Um, but this is the book of Daniels, chapter 12, verse 9. And it reads, And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed. To the time of the end. That's what time we at now, man. We at the time of the end. That's why you're seeing the prophets are uh, uh, being raised up, man, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Starting off with the men of great millstone. And those that's in the correct doctrine and the correct spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that, that claiming these words, man. And we in the time of the end, man. That's why you're seeing the so called white man of uh, America and his kingdom, his global uh, system is falling, man. You know, because his word. Is breaking it down, man. And the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is on the return uh, to bring this place down, man. So when Yahweh Shah come back physically with a world called UFOs, which are the chariots, and him and the angels, when they come back and bring this so-called white man kingdom down and these other heathen nations, you know, and he come and fight against them, man, bring the, uh, uh, the whole world down, man, then it's going to be set up a new kingdom, man. And that's the kingdom of Israel, once again, starting off with the elect. Now, it continues on, and it said, Many shall be purified and made white, and uh, 
and tried. But the wicked, so like the many shall be purified and made white and tried. And that's talking about the elect. The elect is going to be purified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And how the way of the elect is going to be purified, first of all, through the words, man. Through the words of the 100 percent true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And physically to the point when the Lord changed uh, our bodies into that uh, um, incorruptible body, man. That we're going to be righteous forever. Continue on, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. So the wicked gonna continue doing wicked, man. Wicked, man. Y'all are the so-called white man, which is the wicked. Their whole race don't understand the scriptures, you know. And also, that go for two thirds of you wicked Israelites that not gonna understand the scriptures, man. So you are gonna have to die, man. You know, and be brought back into the kingdom. And uh, it reads on, and it said. The wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So only the elect is going to get the understanding uh, of the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the moment on this side, man. And that's going to be delivered for the, the, the time of destruction or the wrath of the Lord that's about to take place, man. But two thirds, man, this word is a stumbling block unto him, you know. So it's just up, up, up to us to pray to the Lord that we part of the elect and do the work of the Lord and preach the word uh, only to the elect, but that's what we only give it to at the moment, man, you know, but we out here to give the one in the, to the two-thirds, so they won't have no saying that they didn't know, you know, but all of our people, or all majority of the world, not majority, but all the world, I say it like that, had heard the truth, man, you know, and so that's why things are getting ramped up, man, the Lord, in the, time, the Lord is in the time of bringing this place down, man, you know, so brothers, I hope that this will edify, you know, to the uh, hope the elect that's out there pushing and, and keeping the faith and, and coming into this word, man, you know, and exalting and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, day in and day out, and all truth and sincerity, and, and doing it to the end, man, because we almost out of here, man. You know, so to the, you know, next time I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Conquer Dash, double honors to our apostles and elders that break millstone and do well, the salutation. To the elect out there that's pushing this truth and all faith and truth is sincere. Till the next time, shalom.